the World Cup is just three days away here at Bevict, and we've got our head football men here, Paul Finnegan, I'm Mike Triffick, odds compilers extraordinaire, Triff, I know it's not exactly the Ismian South, Ismian South, but it is, it's me to say, it is the World Cup, biggest sporting event in the world, host nation Brazil, 3-1 favourites, and we're happy to take them on. Yeah, Brazil 3, Argentina 4. The They'll money. be obvious too. Oh, Argentina now 72. 72, in fact, yeah. I should have known that. I made that change yesterday. <laughs> um, they're our worst result in the book, actually, Jack. Yeah. Uh, Argentina. Well, last no, no, actually, I had a look at like, Costa Rica well, and yes. Honduras. Massively. 4,000 to 1, though. Yeah. More, you're going to say they're your, more your type of ha- Happy to lay those two. <laughs> yeah. Argentina. We've seen a bit of money for Spain 32. Germany, friendless. Yeah, Germany. Never really liked the Germans. Seven. Sorry, give them away, can we? No. There are the sort of the teams that you'd fancy to win it, i.e., the ones in single figures. I think the they injuries, and I'm also Ralph's got injured the other day. That's right, yeah. I think that's, that's why Punters aren't backing them. They obviously don't have a strike force either. Close and well, now older than Triff. I mean, he's the <laughs> one striker in the squad. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. I mean, he's got 14 World Cup goals, but now he's. I suppose it hasn't stopped Spain sort of dominating on the on the world scene, not having a, a recognised striker, or maybe only playing one up front. The, the false number nine. Yeah. Is, so, a, is Costa fit? I think he's well, only played the other day, isn't he? Did he take some he hasn't played something? that much, though, has he? But, uh, so, again, the jury's out on Costa. So, but Spain are more popular at the moment than Germany. So, with these, the Germans and short and Spain. Of the, of the two. Belgium, keep, keep, everyone keeps putting them as the dark horses, but surely then well, we're keeping everyone fancies them. We've been trying to make them top price, Belgium. Uh, all the players sort of looked good to going one. back last year. But then they haven't really done much for the clubs this year. I don't know. They had a, like, Fellaini, well, yeah. didn't really play for United. Fellaini was terrible. Well, Cartoon tail tail off. Lukaku's play, right playing well. The but there's a lot of you know they're relying a lot on him for his goals, and he obviously got injured the other day, didn't he? He's only going to be out for a few days, they say. But the squad's not very big, is it? And that's why they could struggle. I know you boys are quite keen on France at 25 to one, irrespective of Ribery's. Yeah, and I'm not bothered about Ribery injuries. being uh, out at all, Jack. No. In fact, France would be my first tip for the uh, selection here, actually. 25 to one. Top price here at Victor as well. There is plenty of 25 around, and uh, a few firms have shortened them after their 8 0 hammering of Jamaica uh, <laughs> yesterday. Um, You're making me crazy. Three players scored a brace in that. Obviously, Benzema, who is fancied for the top goal scorer, he's going to be the main man with Giroud up front. When you look down the team, it's quite impressive, France, and I don't think there's any pressure on them this time. They don't have a bad route either, do they? Too? The group's OK. I think they probably won't play any of the big teams for the quarters or they're due to play Germany against in the Germany, quarter yeah. final but as we say we're against Germany if they get through Germany uh, for me I'm looking at stage of elimination semi-final at 7-1 to one. so if you back France each way at 25 it's probably a good hedge back in the 7-1 to one to be eliminated in the semis shrewd veteran strikes again lads we've, we've, we've not mentioned England England 28-1 to one. obviously they drew 0-0 with Honduras due to our Ecuador are we Paul you're going to be there cheering them on surely you've um, got them a bit of optimism I'm only there till the quarters so oh, you know. <laughs> come by then <laughs> As long as, uh, as long as they don't go further than that, will be all right. The, the 28 really just reflects the patriotic support that we've seen for England, in all honesty. It doesn't really reflect the two chances of England, does it? <laughs> so, although England are probably our second, third worst result, it, it's the right people back in them. It's your patriotic <laughs> ones, season people, I, isn't I, it? So. I'm going to say, just think about eight years ago, even 12 years ago, England was 7-8-1 to one with it for the golden generation. Now 28, we I mean, cut from 33s yeah. last week... But still, like you said, it's more the people piling in yeah. with there their were, heart rather than their Uruguay drifted with the doubts about Suarez. That was the main reason people were piling into it, thinking it'd be easier for them to get through the group. And Italy drew with Luxembourg 1-1 yeah. in a friendly. <laughs> so as other teams have faltered, England have shortened. But we know it's going to be two out of those big three who will go through. But, you know, who's going to who's going to? We hope, we hope, anyway. Mm. Costa Rica being the worst result yeah. in the book. But lads... Who's going to win the World Cup? One, one name, one name only. Well, I was just going to say, Jack, after tipping up France, we, we, we've got a couple of others we'd like to uh, mention here for you. Right, go uh, ahead. Colombia at 33. I do fancy a South American team probably to win it, in all honesty. Uh, and Colombia <laughs> look a massive price to me at 33 compared to, to Brazil and Argentina. I know people are saying Falcao's not playing. Colombia have known for a while he's not going to play. They've got plenty of other players. Jackson Martinez, cracking form for Porto. Have you James back, have you back Colombia by any chance? Well, I have that Columbia 80 to 1. Amongst I've eight, nine of the yeah, team, yeah. That one. But, um, <laughs> so I'm hoping for a good run. But I can't put people off Columbia at 33. And they're, they're probably bigger, obviously, on back there, mm-hmm. etc. But uh, I, think, I think they're in an easy-ish group. Ivory Coast, Japan and Greece. 
Michael Owen really fancies Japan. He's, he's, he's his dad bosses for the tournament. Probably because they Bet are. Victor Brand ambassador Michael Owen. But probably because they are in that group where you could make a case for the four. It, you know, when it's 33 to 1, the, the shortest price on the outright in a group, <coughs> it's a wide open group. Yeah. But uh, Colombia 33. And I know Paul fancies Chile. Yeah, if I had to put up a, sort of an outsider, it would be Chile. I think we've got plenty going forward with Sanchez and, and uh, Vargas. And obviously Vidal putting the strings in the middle. The only problem might be they're a bit dodgy at the back. They conceded a lot in qualifying. But um, I mean, when you look, they think they've, they've got more points than Uruguay in qualifying. And Uruguay are 28 to one. And then they beat England at Wembley two 0 And England are 28 to one. And then Chile are 50 to one. So I mean, you could make a case from being shorter than that, really. Lads, neither of you mentioned Portugal 28 to one. World player there, Cristiano Ronaldo. I think he's the only. Two's on. That's the problem. He's said two's on to be their top scorer, but again, currently injured, and he's had a tough season. It's all on his shoulders, isn't it? it I think. I, I think Portugal are late. Yeah. It's not for the boys. So it's Chile for Paul. It's Colombia for Mike, and I'll be boring. I'll say Brazil at three to one, and I'm having France as well, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Mike says that a South American team will win the World Cup, so he's put up France accordingly. That's my saver. That's his saver. <laughs> but it's Brazil for me. Three to one favourites with us a bet, Victor, for the World Cup on home soil.